What's up guys? If you like my channel and you want to help me grow, go ahead and push that subscribe button below. If you want to get future notifications for my videos, go ahead and push the little bell. A little picture of it right there. And if you want to see my algorithm get boosted uh, to help me along further my adventure on YouTube, please push the like button. It definitely helps. And if all else fails, push the like button because this guinea pig is cute. That's a good reason to push it, right? Right. Alright, what's going on guys? Drone Worship YouTube channel and today we're going to go over a few things that I want to help you understand and also we're going to go through the setup process of the Wi-Fi repeater and I want you to know that this actually has a much, much stronger signal than the uh, Sky Controller 1 or the Sky Controller 2 setup. This is actually a 500 milliwatt uh, Wi-Fi repeater and uh, it, it, I believe the transfer rate is 300 millibits per second and uh, so that's actually quite a decent transfer rate but this does have an extremely strong signal push on a 2 amp power bank so we're going to talk about a few cool things you can do with this before we go into the setup process number one these are high gain alpha pan antennas uh, panel patch antennas basically they're uh, designed to really cast a signal hard. The dipole antennas that come on here are for 360 degree uh, signal and these are for long range flying uh, really really casting a signal. These are 7 dBi, these are 2 dBi. So depending on what your needs are for the day that you're going to be flying, uh, if you're going to be flying in a local area then you would probably want to be running these uh, uh, 7 dBi or these uh, 2 dBi uh, dipole antennas for 360 degree field of view, 360 degree uh, signal, but if you're going on a long range flight and you plan on going pretty darn far, I would say the alpha antennas are your best bet. Having both antennas is really nice, so let's move on here. So this setup can be used with the Bebop 1 or the Bebop 2, and I'm going to go into the initial setup. There are a couple cool ways that you can do this. You can order the fly pad. I consider this what I call a Wi-Fi base station where you would have a power bank with a 2 amp draw. You would plug this into the power bank, and if you set it up correctly, you can either set it up to work with the Bebop 1 or the Bebop 2. Basically what happens is the Wi-Fi repeater connects to the Bebop internet and then it starts casting a high output signal of what the Bebop is is uh, currently pushing and then you connect your phone to the Wi-Fi repeater to allow a much stronger signal. For those of you guys that watched my other video, I actually took out the drone easily a mile with absolutely no Wi-Fi breakup whatsoever. Um, I was getting Wi-Fi breakup on my Sky Controller 1. I also have the Sky Controller 2 and another Bebop uh, right over there. We'll be doing a, another test with that setup. Uh, but currently, I want to show you how to get all this connected, and we will go from here. So what's cool about this setup, essentially, is that you can uh, basically put these high-gain panel antennas on a Wi-Fi or on a... Uh, on the Wi-Fi repeater and then you can plug this into a power bank and set it on the top of your car and point it in the general direction that you want to cast a signal for long-range flights and I live in Florida so it's extremely hot when you're flying so what I think is fun is that by building a Wi-Fi base station is that you can set this setup on top of the car get inside the car and you are only connecting to this Wi-Fi repeater so you don't have to worry about being inside your car as long as this is on the roof of your car you're gonna be getting a perfect signal to your phone if you're inside of it so you can essentially fly in the air conditioning or whatever your needs are I mean there's a lot of cool ways that you can use this thing properly so we're gonna go ahead and uh, set this up I'm gonna show you guys through a series of screenshots and a little bit of video of how to properly set up this Wi-Fi repeater and get you on your feet so that you can start getting some long-range flights and uh, I promise you that this is way more powerful than the Sky Controller 1 or the Sky Controller 2. It is extremely cheap. This was $16. These panel antennas were $8 a piece. And most of you guys probably already have a power bank. Or, if you're in your vehicle, you can get an extension port and set this on your dashboard with a uh, 2 amp USB plug in right to your car's power source and set this Wi-Fi repeater right on the dashboard of your car and send it way out really depends on your needs and how you want to set this up that's what makes this so very cool is that this is what I call a Wi-Fi base station so you won't actually need to have 
uh, a sky controller if you have this set up. You can just fly with a fly pad and you will have an extremely powerful signal because of this Wi-Fi repeater. So super, super cool. All right, guys, let's get into the setup process. Let's get kicked off. Alrighty, so guys, the first thing you're going to do is take your Wi-Fi repeater. You can plug it into your power bank or you can plug it into your computer or an available phone, USB port, whatever you want to do. We're going to go ahead and plug this into my PC. We'll get some power going to it. You should have a light here. We absolutely do. So this is going to start to power up. You should see a red light here in a second. Any second now. There it is. Okay, so this is ready. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to start a screen recording and show you exactly what you need to type in to your browser because what you're going to do now is you're going to connect your internet on your cellular device or tablet to the Wi-Fi repeater that is currently powered up. So we're going to get to that in a second and then I'm going to show you after you connect to it what you need to do with your browser. Right, what's going on there guys? So now we're going to go through the proper setup procedure. It's probably going to be a little different device to device but I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible to understand. So I currently have it connected to the USB port on my, uh, the Wi-Fi repeater is currently connected to the USB port on my multi-board on my PC. All we're doing right now is giving the Wi-Fi repeater power. That's all we need to do is give it power for its initial setup. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do here. So now that it's powered up by my computer, I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. I'm going to pull it down again and get into my settings. I'm going to activate airplane mode, turn it on. Now I am going to go to settings connections I am going to turn on the Wi-Fi we are going to click on it now we are going to connect to the Wi-Fi repeater if your phone does not automatically start connecting go ahead and click on Wi-Fi repeater E9 D8 we're gonna give them a second to communicate once they are communicating we are going to open a Google browser and I'm going to tell you the exact IP address that you need to type we are now connected to it so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to Chrome I'm going to come up here to the top. We are going to type this very specific, as you can see, I already have it there, 192.168.31. It says Wi-Fi repeater, but all you're going to do is type in that exact number in your Google slot up here. So we'll go ahead and just do it together, even though I just said it. So we're going to go 192.168. Six, oops, point one six eight point three point one, and we are going to hit go. It is going to take you to a sign in page. The password and username are both admin, so type admin and admin. Okay, once you get through that step, go ahead and hit the sign in button. It is going to take you to another page. This is called the access point. This is where you set up the Wi-Fi repeater for the signal that it's going to be casting. As you can see, it is currently set up for my Bebop 1 drone. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to reach over here and we're going to set this up for my Bebop 2. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my Bebop 2 right now. Bebop 2 is now powering on. We are going to back out come over here we're going to blow this up and you will see where it says choose AP we are going to click on choose AP it is going to show us all of the current uh, internet that the Wi-Fi repeater can find and as you can see right there on the list it says security none for Bebop 2 which is perfect so as you can see Bebop 2 is on this list I'm going to check it as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and mark the little hole so it is ready to apply the settings to the Bebop 2 and essentially what's going to happen is once I hit apply it is going to save the Bebop 2's internet to the Wi-Fi repeater so every time you turn on the Wi-Fi repeater it's going to automatically start searching for the Bebop 2 internet so I'm going to hit apply And it says, congratulations, successfully saved. After 20 seconds, make sure your Wi-Fi device and repeater is connected. So now we're going to wait a couple seconds here while I talk to you guys before we power everything down. You are absolutely done. You do not need to do anything else. That was the amount of setup that needed to be done. You can forget steps five and step six. They are not 
needed. Five and six are completely done. They are not necessary. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna do the entire setup. So basically when you get out to wherever you're going, you're going to plug your Wi-Fi repeater into your power bank. It's gonna automatically start searching for the for Bebop 1 or Bebop 2 internet, whatever you set it up for. As soon as it finds that, it is going to be ready to use. And the way you can tell, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to regular video here so I can show you exactly what to look for so you know it's connected correctly. So give me one sec here, guys. We'll go through the rest of the setup process. All right, guys, here is the Wi-Fi repeater. And as you can see, it is blinking red, but it has full blue zone. These are actually signal bars. It's letting you know it has 100% signal and it is currently communicating with the Bebop 2. I'm going to go ahead and stop this right here so you know that they are connected, they are communicating, and I'm going to go ahead and open Free Flight Pro so you guys can see that everything is communi prop communicating properly and I am connected to the Wi-Fi repeater. So give me one sec. Alrighty guys, here is Free Flight Pro. As you can see, it is not connected yet, so we're going to go ahead and connect. I am going to choose Wi-Fi repeater E9D8. It is going to connect to it. Checking internet signal, excellent. I'm going to go ahead and push the back button now, now that we're connected to the Wi-Fi repeater. Back button, give it one sec. It is connecting and boom. We are currently connected how we should be. Just to test that again here, good to go. Everything seems to be normal. So as you can see, things are working out exactly how they should. I do have, uh, FPV here. I'm going to go ahead and push the back button. I'm going to pull this down just so you guys can see exactly what I'm connected to. Right there, Wi Fi repeater is our current internet connection. Internet may not be available. It's going to say that every time, guys, but as you can see, we are not connected to Bebop 2. We are connected to Wi Fi repeater, and Free Flight Pro app is reading it as the Bebop 2. I have full control of the Bebop right now using the Wi-Fi repeater, and I can tell you that you can, with the high gain panel antennas, you can send this thing out miles away from yourself. This is what I call a Wi-Fi base station. It is very easy to build, very cheap, very affordable, and I believe it is probably two times more aggressive than the Flypad One or the or the uh, Sky Controller One or Sky Controller Two. Anyways, guys, this is Drone Worship. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope it helped you out. hope it wasn't too long. It's very easy to use this setup. You only have to do that setup once if you're only flying with one drone. However, if you do have multiple drones and one Wi-Fi repeater, you're going to have to do that setup each individual time you want to use uh, your other drones but if you're just sticking the Wi-Fi repeater with one drone you only had to do that setup one time so now when you go outside and you're ready to fly all you have to do is plug in your Wi-Fi repeater it is immediately going to start looking for the Bebop 2 signal so it can start casting it once it connects to it you will see that red and blue light that I showed you uh, start popping up and you'll see the signal bar start up on the Wi-Fi repeater to let you know it's connected and then you can open Free Flight Pro app and boom connect right to the Wi-Fi repeater and get ready for exceptional range. All right, guys, I'm out of here, man. Drone worship, tutoroo.